there's been a very exciting AI video generation update from Pika. Here we go. If you've been paying attention to all things AI video generation, you're probably familiar with Pika, who back at the start of the year released version 1.0, and everyone was very excited. They had a cool UI, and they were competing with the likes of Runway ML. And I played with it at the time, but it never quite lived up to the hype for me, at least. Since then, we've not heard a great deal from them, and Runway have gone on to improve over time. And we've had other releases from the likes of Kling, Luma Labs, and their Dream Machine. More recently, we've had Minimax, plus early previews of Adobe's Firefly video generation tool, Seaweed, a new AI video platform from ByteDance, the makers of TikTok, looks very promising. And of course, Sora from OpenAI, which we're still waiting for. But Pika are now back with a new 1.5 release, enabling us to do longer, bigger, better generations, as well as prompt for some very cool visual effects. The pricing currently looks like this, and there is currently a new free tier, and you can access their Pika 1.5 model. And you might want to check out one of their paid tiers, including their unlimited tier, to access faster or fastest generations, um, as currently there's a lot of demand for Pika with their new update. Even on one of their paid tiers right now, you're still going to be stuck in a queue for many hours to try and get a generation to complete. But hopefully they'll fire up some more servers or the queues will die down soon. In their original 1.0 release, you had access to some extra features, which they are yet to roll out in 1.5. And these included things like modifying the region, lip syncing, sound effects, upscaling, expanding the canvas and extending the videos. But in this video, I'm just going to concentrate on the new updates in version 1.5. And they're really not lying, there is a ton of demand at the moment, as I've had these two in the queue for quite a while now. But I did generate this one earlier, and not only is it going to generate a video, it actually adds sound effects as well. And you've already seen me get inflated here. Very cool and very easy to do though. And whilst I think these are a bit gimmicky and it's just a sales tool to get people to jump onto the platform, the real power is in generating unique video clips. But that aside, let's explore the new Pika effects. So to do these new visual effects, we actually have a new menu down here called Pika Effect. So if you click on this, you can go through and check out the different options and they've got some handy previews. So you can inflate the subject of your video, melt it, explode it, squish it, crush it, and cakeify it. So you can play the endless game show of Is It Cake? You can also write a text prompt as before to describe what's going to happen in your video and just press generate and it will reduce the imagery from scratch or you can click and upload your own image reference. My generations are taking hours at the moment so I'm going to check out their explore tab, their examples and some things I've found on X as well. Like this cool squash example shared by AI Warper on X, really nice. Um, and then of course you can squish objects with the hands coming in. All of these clips look kind of similar turning everything the main subject into a squishy. Um, so yeah, we're going to see tons and tons of these on social media. Um, again, it's kind of gimmicky, but fun and no doubt worth sharing on social media. And, you know, it's going to be popular. And I actually successfully turned this Game of Thrones dragon into this super squishy, cute dragon. You can also melt things, create your own kind of Terminator style scene. Again, use case seems a little bit limited, but it's kind of fun. This scene's really cool. It's got that sort of Sandman effect. Um, or just melt will smith with spaghetti but a very cool creative effect whether you could achieve something similar in runway i'm not sure and you can blow stuff up which actually looks pretty cool and there's lots of detail here which i think is nice and could be useful for um, a short film if you want to have a quick instant cheap visual effect added to your film i'm not sure how controllable this is how it works with different image references but it does look cool in these early results and you can inflate a hippo um, so again i think we're going to see tons of things like this on social media um, and it could suit a you know a marketing ad campaign. And you can play your own game show. Is it cake? Is it cake? Yes. Yes, it's cake. Is it cake? Yes. Yes, it's cake. Is it cake? No, no, it's a monster running. Um, so these ones are pure video generations from a text prompt and an image reference that Pika have shared. And the results are pretty decent. There's a few uncanny valley moments in some of the human shots. The bullet time visuals, they've got a look really cool though with lots of consistency. So prompting for bullet time, you get a smooth camera movement and it seems to populate the whole scene really nicely. This human shot here, again, slightly uncanny, but there's some nice visuals. And this one with the skateboarder, the physics maybe looks slightly off, but there's some lovely visuals, the motion, the speed moving forward. Um, a few months ago, we would have been blown away by something like that. Here's a very impressive running alien clip shared by Elad Richardson on X, and he's actually a research scientist from Pika. 
So there we go, that's the new update from Pika Labs with only 1.5 model, and I think it looks seriously impressive and definitely competing with the other top tier AI video generation platforms out there. I was hoping to share more of my own video generations, but they're just taking far too long at the moment due to that high demand. But I've got various prompts and tests in the works that perhaps I'll share on the channel or on the community or on X in the future. All right, thanks very much for watching. If you are interested in AI animation, please press like, subscribe, um, and all of that, and head over to AIanimation.com to check out some new AI animation courses I'm working on. All right, have a nice day. Cheers. Cheers.